Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, it's Colin99 from YouTube. That's right, I said it. I got my account back. I'm excited as hell. So, um, today we're going to be having a tutorial on how to make curved surfaces with great textures aligned to them, applying textures to curved surfaces. So, hopefully, I can make this quicker than 10 minutes. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. So, what you want to do is launch up Source SDK. I'm going to go under Half Life 2 Episode 2 and map for that. So, I'm just click Hammer Editor. And open up hammer and just wait for it to boot up for a sec and um so yeah be a second all right so um click new and just make a new little uh document to open up and make your road Oh, I'm making a row, that's what I mean. Um, I'm going to make mine 256 by 512 and I'm just going to lower the grid size right now real quick just to a suitable number like that. So eight, 8 units high. Um, so I'm just going to give this a no draw texture for now. Uh, okay, so apply a road texture. Um, I, have a, I have a pretty good a favorite of mine. Uh, it's Concrete floor 037A. And this is beautiful road texture. Um, so I'm going to click fit. And for Y, on the Y thing, I'm going to hit point 0.4. And it should give me a pretty good alignment texture. And so to make a curved surface, um, click on the primitives or block tool and go under in primitives, the little box down here. Um, in categories under objects, click arch. Now make a block. It doesn't really matter how big it is. Um, I'm making. I'm gonna make mine pretty. Uh, pretty simple and go with 832 by 832. So click on hit enter. And it'll bring up this little dialog box. Um, to make a curve that matches the road, like in width and stuff, the wall width is always gonna be half of what the number of the uncurved block is which is which I made my road 256 so 128 is half of it and there we go bringing up the stupid screen annotations so I'm gonna do it on regular number on the keyboard so I'm just gonna leave it at um, eight sides and I'm gonna click preview and it looks pretty good so I'm just gonna match it up and it, it look matches up perfectly with the road because it's half it's always gonna be half of what the width is and so I'm gonna just going to go ahead and give this all a no draw texture. And so to make the curved surfaces, um, to have a perfectly applied texture to them, what you do is you do what they call an alt-right-click me alt right -click method, which means that when you alt-right-click a surface, it parents or it neighbors the um, texture like this. As you can see, it's still straight. So if I were to apply it like this, it, it'd still be always straight. So to make it perfectly curved and aligned, highlight the top of the non-curved surface and alt-right-click the side of it, like this. And th so what this does is it parents it to the actual block itself, or the it neighbors it to the side of the block, so it ke keeps all the properties for that block on the side. And so what it'll do is it'll align the top if you alt-right-click. So I'll right click the other sides of all of the different blocks like this. So click um, click on one surface, I'll right click the next, click on that surface, I'll right click the next, and just keep doing that until you get all of your curves. I'll right click like this. And uh, after a while you should come up with the, this. Alright, so to start making them look perfectly curved, or perfectly applied, click on the corresponding side of the block that you want to align and click on that and then I'll right click the top and as what you can see is that it curved the texture um, on the top side of the block so that um, it makes it look aligned with the curve and that's what we were going for in the first place so just keep doing that with the all right click method I'm only doing eight sides you can do up to 16 I believe is the smoothest that you can go without, you know, with good optimization still. But as you can see, we have our perfectly curved texture. Um, this actually does a lot of good in making curved roads and curved um, 
railroad tracks, uh, sidewalks. I'm going to hurry and show you how to make a sidewalk before we run out of time here. Um, so to make a perfectly curved sidewalk, what you do is um, make the original non-curved sidewalk real quick and make it 128 by 120 or 128 by 512. That's what I'm doing. I'm keeping it at basics right now because um, it looks a lot better. And the, pretty much my default, I mean, I don't even know if it's the real default for sidewalks, but my default is 128 in width. So click make it a no draw texture and I'm going to find my favorite sidewalk texture, which is concrete floor 028C. And as you can see, um, since it's 128, it, the texture fits perfectly onto it because that was the scale of the model or the brush that it was built on to be made. So, so um, to make a curved sidewalk, the same thing that you do is you just drag it out. Um, click the arch first. I always forget that. Uh, is make a block and drag it out from the corner of the sidewalk down to the same corner of the top of the curve like this. And then hit enter. And now, since your sidewalk was 128, half of 128 is 64. So I'm going to hit preview. It looks pretty good, so I'm going to drag it out and find it. And it perfectly aligns with the sidewalk and the curve, too, because I made it, um, I dragged it out onto the spots that, that were um, made for, you know, if you were to make a curved sidewalk. So um, give it all no draw texture. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same exact method I did with the road, and that's the alt right click method. Trust me, this works for almost every curved surf, or actually every curved surface that you try to align a texture to. So I'm gonna hurry and do that. Sorry, hammer's being really laggy today on me for some reason. So um, if you find some things hard to understand, just comment and ask a question. I can pretty much be able to answer it. Okay, so what it's doing is it's doing the curve alt right click method, and it's working perfect. As you can see, now we have our perfectly curved sidewalks texture texture with the road. And so I'm going to go ahead and raise this about yeah, four units off of the road. That's about sizable or reasonable curve size. And now what you can do is you can just apply a curve texture right here under the address surfaces. I don't, I don't think I have enough time to do that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, good luck making those perfectly beautiful curved roads. And we hope to s I hope to see it in some good maps made soon, so thanks for the watching, and goodbye. <laughs>